this is my core banks rig. This is basically what I use to fish Cape Lookout up there at the core banks and pretty much surf fish everywhere. Um, most of your store-bought rigs, the little two-hook rigs, got all the snap swivels and all that. Well, hell, they're only about as long as from that sinker to that first hook. And then, like I said, they've got all that terminal tackle on them, the snap swivels and sliders and, and uh, crimp sleeves and all that. It's too obvious. And uh, you won't catch a lot of fish like that. So this is mine, and the whole uh, rig is probably about five to six foot long, and as you can see, there's three hooks on it. And it does have the, uh, the little plastic beads because those attract fish. But you don't want all those, uh, those crimp sleeves and all that all over it. Anyway, basically what I do is, right here at the top, I tie me a swivel with a loop. Make sure you tie a double knot, always double knot on these loops because if not, they'll pull out. And I put my bead and my hook on there. I tie a single knot as a stopper knot. And then of course, my, my double loop right there at the top. I do that again, and then one more time at the bottom, and then I tie another double loop knot where I can change out my uh, sinker size rapidly. This is a three ounce here, but I put any size I want on there, and you know, if things get real bad, you just can't keep the bastards where you want them. We use one of these Sputnik sinkers here. These little wire arms fold back. like so and uh that tends to stay put that's a four ounce and that has as much holding power as a six ounce pyramid anyway that's uh that's basically what i use right there and as you can see i got sand fleas rigged up on it like i said the uh the beads kind of resemble the uh the orange egg mass on the bellies of these sand fleas so again it's a fish attractor one day I'll show y'all how to actually tie that rig. Right now I gotta get some bait back in the water.